awesome physiology students. I was going to do a little turkey physiology for you today on this Thanksgiving. Uh, so this is the turkey, and it's really cool to look at for understanding the subcutaneous fat and the articular cartilage and all those things that we talked about with the bones and the skin and the muscle. But I also wanted to show you um, the insides of the turkey. So when you when you get a turkey from the store, they put what they call the giblets inside. So they come inside the cavity of the turkey, which is not where they normally would be. They're, they're all kind of taken out. And these are really yummy for a stock afterwards. So this right here is the neck. And the neck is really cool. I can show you how it moves a little bit. Sorry, <laughs> not drop things in here. So this is the turkey neck. And if you boil this completely down and take out all of the vertebrae, you can actually pull through the um, spinal cord, which is super cool to look at. And, and you can see here, see that little hole there in the middle? Ooh. Yeah, there's a hole right there that you can see. That's what the spinal cord goes through. Um, so I would highly recommend putting this in some boiling water, just kind of boiling it for a few hours and then just pulling the whole thing apart. It's really good if you put it into gravy, um, but the bones are gorgeous and maybe I'll try to save some, but I don't know, that seems maybe extreme. Um, this is kind of an interesting part of the turkey. This is called the giblet, um, uh, not giblet, what is, I don't know. I think it's the, uh, I don't know this one so much, sorry. I always mean to look it up, but this is um, in the turkey's neck and when they eat, it helps them kind of grind up all the things that they eat. So we don't have one of these, um, but we do have one of these. So this is the liver. And so it's very, very soft. And then if you look here, you can see the hepatoportal veins, everything liver is hep, like hepatitis is an infection of the liver. Um, and so this is kind of cool. You can see all the connective tissue here and the veins and vessels and so on. And so this is yummy to boil up throughout the day for your uh, whatever you want to do with it, gravy or so on. And of course, do you recognize, can you tell what this is? This is the heart. I would highly recommend looking at a heart very carefully. It's so amazing. So this right here is one of the biggest vessels in your body. It's the aorta. And um, and then you can actually see some of this is just chopped off because it's not like dissected um, perfectly. It's just sort of made for food. Um, and then you can see the different chambers of the heart. So you can kind of stick your finger in there and you can feel that this chamber is very weak. So this would be the right ventricle. And then this chamber is very strong. So this would be the left ventricle. You can feel how strong it is there. Um, and in the heart unit, we'll talk more about why that is. So the left side has to pump blood to your entire body, but the right side only has to pump blood to your uh, lungs, which is much closer and it doesn't take as much uh, energy to do that. So um, around the outside, you can see where the uh, coronary arteries are and there's always a little bit of fat on the heart. So um, this looks like maybe a healthy turkey, although I have to admit, they don't necessarily always give you the same heart of the turkey because it comes from a processing plant. So I'm about to put some stuffing in this turkey and put it in the oven and uh, hang out safely with my small family today. Um, and I'm missing all of you and I hope you are all having a wonderful day and I hope you get to get your hands in some turkeys and learn about physiology while you're at home. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.